Hi guys, um, it has been a day. It has been a Monday, <laughs> if you will. Um, so I thought we would just do a little 30 minute unwind practice. Um, for tonight's practice, I am sitting on a blanket. There is a bolster or pillow and two blocks. Um, not sure what we're gonna use tonight, but just kind of keep them handy just in case. We're gonna kind of go with a free flowing, unplanned class tonight. So what I'd like you to do is come down to sit and just initially find that long spine, that shape that feels really familiar and yet we tend to neglect it. So if you want to wiggle a little bit and try and find that place where you feel nice and steady, you can go ahead and do that and then just gently close your eyes. And if you're coming in from a busy day, just check in. Notice what's going on for you. I know for me, I'm pretty much scattered, feeling very under the gun and stressed out. So tonight's practice is going to be more about curling in, kind of a little bit of self-care, a little bit of kind of taking care of ourselves. Um, if you have been in a place where you're activated, where you're taking care of others, where you're trying to get stuff organized and make things work and nothing seems to want to fit into your schedule or fit into a round hole with a square peg. It's just kind of where we are. So just check in and notice what's come with you into your practice today. And we're going to start with a couple of straw breaths. So go ahead and take an inhale to prepare. And exhale, blow out through pursed lips. Like you're blowing out a candle or you're blowing through a straw. Do that again. Inhale. And exhale out through pursed lips. We'll do that two more times on your own rhythm. And then just gently with your eyes closed, just start to do a little bit of a half moon rock. And you can start with a half moon rock. I'm kind of moving towards the back body. So go with that if you want to do that. If you want to go to the front, feel free to go towards the front. But just kind of start to settle down. Notice your energy moving down into your pelvis, finding that grounding sensation, finding that support. And if you want to tip your head from left to right, stretch out the sides of your neck, maybe see if you can drop those shoulders a little bit further from your ears. If you've been sitting in front of a computer or working on a phone or driving around like I have today, you may feel a little bit of that tension, especially in the sides of the neck. And just continue that rock rhythmically, kind of moving organically with your body moving with what feels good. And I'm keeping my eyes closed here. If you feel comfortable with that, you can keep your eyes closed too. But if you want to keep them open, keep them open. And just take a couple deep breaths and notice how your breath is starting to slow down. Just notice the connection of your legs and your pelvis to the floor. And then go ahead and come back to center and find that nice long spine once again and just notice a little bit maybe of a shift in your body, a little bit maybe of a shift in your energy. And I think for tonight, we're going to start lying on our backs. So if you have your blanket, you are going to take it and just unroll it so that you have like a little three, three and a half inch roll. Um, meaning like a three and a half inch diameter. So pretty small on that end. And the excess you're gonna lay up towards the top of your mat. That little, that little roll is gonna be like a neck roll. And we're gonna place it right underneath our cervical spine. And we're gonna come down to lie on our backs. Go ahead and grab your bolster or um, pillow. And you can also slide that under your knees. And Come on down to your back, find that neck roll, just supportive enough that it's giving your, your cervical spine a little bit of support, but the back of the head is still touching the ground. So it should feel a little bit like your chin is moving away from your sternum. And there's a little bit of space, especially in the front of the neck. 
And then you can take your hands to your belly or you can take them off to the side. I'm feeling, like I said, a little bit more closed today. So go ahead and I'm gonna take my hands to my belly. And here, I'm just gonna start with a little visualization. So what I'd like you to do is as you close your eyes, just start to notice what your breath is doing in this position. Check in with the expanding and contracting of your belly as you breathe. Notice if it feels ragged or smooth, whatever. Whatever may be happening, just kind of be like, okay, this is just where I am. I've been doing a lot of that practice today. Okay, this is just where I am. It's just discomfort for right now. It'll be okay. It'll fix itself. It'll sort it out. And as you breathe, slowly begin to draw your awareness into any sensations in your body. I'd like you to start at the soles of your feet. And if you're like me and you have your knees propped up over the top of a nice bolster, just notice the contact of the soles of the feet with the earth. And as you notice that contact, that space, notice if there's any sort of tingling that's present there. any sort of energy exchange. And then begin to draw your awareness up into the tops of your feet. And into your ankles. Gently draw your awareness into the fronts of your shins and just notice if you can soften or release any tension that you're holding in the fronts of your shins. Notice the sensation in the back of your calves. See if you can offer up any relaxation, any softening to those really hardworking calf muscles. And then bring your attention into the fronts of your knees, the backs of your knees entire circumference of your knees. And like you're bringing a little bit more warmth into your body, just ask your knees to soften and relax. And as you ask them to soften and relax, just for a moment, say thank you to your knees for all the hard work they do. All the carrying you about here and there, climbing upstairs, downstairs moving you around through this world. And then bring your awareness to the fronts of your thighs, those quad muscles that also do so much work as we move about our days. See if you can ask them to soften. And bring your attention around to the backs of your hamstrings. Notice any tingling or energy moving in that space. And then gently begin to draw your attention up into your pelvis. Any kind of holding, any kind of tension. Allow it to be there, but see if you can just inquire into it and ask it to soften, ask it to let go. See if on your exhale, you can melt a little bit of that tension that you're holding in your pelvis down into the earth. Move that energy down and away, metabolize it through your system. And then begin to move your attention into your belly and your low back. Now, if there's any kind of pain or discomfort here, just recognize it. Try not to fight against it. So often when we fight against any kind of sensation, we often just make it worse because then not only are we dealing with that discomfort, but we're also dealing with the discomfort of not wanting it there. So see if you can change your perspective about any kind of discomfort, any kind of emotional or physical discomfort you may feel in your belly and your back.
And then draw your attention up into the front of your chest, your rib cage. See if you can ask your sternum to soften. And as your sternum softens, see if you can draw some attention into the back body and let those back ribs, the backs of the shoulders, dip down onto the earth. Feel the support of that roll of blanket, maybe beneath the tops of your shoulders. And with your next exhale, gently send your attention to your shoulders. Tops of your shoulders, the outer shoulders. See if you can imagine that they're getting heavier and moving towards the ground. Next, just pay attention to the fronts of your forearms, the backs of your forearms, your elbows, your upper arms, the front and back, palms of your hands, back of your hands, your fingertips, and just notice what that tingling sensation, like someone has turned on a light in those body parts, that warming and tingling sense. And then bring your attention up into the back of your neck, that place where your neck contacts the roll that's supporting your head. And see if you can imagine the back of your neck just softening and opening, releasing any holding, any sort of striving that we may be doing in our lives in this moment. I feel like when we rush head, headstrong, head forward into life, we often end up with lots of neck pain, head pain. So here, just let that go. Let that just be in your back body and let it flood out of you onto the floor. Next, just soften the front of your throat. See if you can imagine the skin sliding sideways and down towards the earth. And soften your jaw, maybe separate your teeth. And release the tongue from your roof of your mouth. See if you can soften that back of the palate, the soft palate, place you can't touch with your tongue. And notice how the breath passes through that space with ease. Bring your attention to your cheekbones and feel the skin sliding down towards the earth. Let gravity take hold, let everything soften. There's no need to hold your face, hold any kind of musculature anymore. Just let it release. And bring your attention to the corners of your eyes and see if you can just ask gravity to take the corners of your eyes down to the earth with you. See if you can just let any tension in the eyes fall away. And notice if you can just let the sense of your eyeballs just resting in their sockets sink a little deeper. Bring your attention to the front of your forehead. Allow the skin on the front of your forehead to soften Release into your scalp, release down towards the earth. Feel the back of your head against the earth. And then just momentarily hold the entire awareness of your body in your mind. All of that tingling, all of that energy. See if you can feel all of it at once, welcome it in. And while taking in all of that sensation at once may feel a little bit overwhelming, it's actually doing a whole lot of good as we just rest into 
the support of our props and the support of the earth. And here I'd like you to start to take a few deep breaths. So really allow your belly to expand into your palms and lift. And then let it fall. And you can exhale with an audible sigh if that feels good. And just let your body settle. Let everything that's come in with you just release down into the ground. Take one more deep inhale and one more deep exhale. And just let it out. And then slowly just start to wiggle those toes and those fingers. And just kind of bring a little movement into the body. After being still for a few moments, you may feel a little creaky, a little crackly. That's okay. We're going to actually come around to sit back up. So what I'd like you to do is if you have that bolster under your knees, you can just kind of let it flop down. And we're just going to roll over to the left or right. And then press ourselves back up just to find an easy seat. And here, go ahead and take your left foot in towards your groin and take your right leg out long. Flex through the sole of the foot and just take that bolster and you're going to grab your blocks and place them. I'm going to place mine on the lowest setting right in front of my left shin right in front of my body. And I'm gonna take that bolster, I'm gonna lay it on top of those two blocks and I'm gonna tuck it into my belly. So it's nice and close. Make whatever adjustments you might need. And if you like, you can use your blanket to pile on top of your bolster if you need to bring it up closer to you. But what you're gonna do is fold forward over that bolster as much as you like. So I'm just gonna to come to my elbows here. And I'm gonna feel that bolster press into my belly that same deep belly breath. I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to let my head start to hang towards that pillow. This allowing of this curling in. I'm going to cross my forearms on top of my bolster and just let my forehead rest. Notice how the body softens around this shape. Notice how you feel as you soften into the shape and notice how your belly feels, especially when we're stressed out, especially when we're feeling a lot of feels or emotions. Our bellies get all weird on us. It's where we feel that emotion. Allow that bolster to provide a little feedback. As you breathe in, feeling the pressure of that pillow against your body and as you breathe out, Feeling everything soften down. And as you stay here for a few breaths, you may find that you want to soften a little deeper. You may want to move your arms. You may want to come down to let your chin rest. Just kind of make any movements that feel good in your body. You don't have to stay still here, but, you know, do your best to find a little stillness. We most Mondays for many people are full of go, 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 go. So we're just taking this short half hour practice to just rest, to just soften, to just slow down. Take a few more breaths. Notice how your body softens to the shape of the pillow that you have, of the support that's beneath you. And as you're breathing, just imagine moving that energy down into your pelvis, down into the earth, finding your feet, finding your ground. Like lightning, allowing any of that energy to just ground out, disperse and spread out. And then when you're ready, just slowly begin to lift your head, maybe press down into the bolster. And we're just going to switch sides. So you're going to take that right foot in and that left foot out. 
you have to kind of manipulate where your props are, go ahead and do that. And then once again, I'm just going to start on my elbows here, letting my head kind of be up, keeping my eyes closed, but just letting it lift a little bit. And I'm tucking that bolster once again, deep into my belly so that when I breathe, I feel the pressure of that bolster against my belly. So allowing it to move in and move out. And as my muscles soften, as things stretch, as things release, as any tension melts away from my body, I may want to just adjust the way I'm stacked. So for me, I'm going to just stack my forearms and let my forehead come to rest. And take a few breaths. See if you can feel the sensation of your breath against that pillow, against that bolster. Just a way to reconnect with that para, the center of the body. It's also called the Hall of Jewels, which I always kind of liked. It's that place where we know and we feel things and those things become the jewels that we decorate our hall with. It's kind of a neat idea. And as you breathe, if you need to change your position, move your head more down towards the bolster, feel free to do that. Allow that breath to move. Allow that softening to happen. We'll take two more breaths here. And then once you've taken that second breath on that exhale, you're going to just slowly lift yourself up and off that bolster. And we're going to come around onto child's pose. So if you want to keep that same setup as you have, you can just keep those blocks underneath the bolster, or you can choose to put those blocks off to the side and just come to kneel for a second. And you're going to take the bolster in between your thighs. I like to turn mine on its edge. It gives me a little bit more space. I'm going to tuck it deep into my belly. And then from here, I'm going to kind of press down on the end that's close to my belly and allow my chest to come down onto the support of that bolster. And you can choose to turn your head to the left or right. See if you can drop your shoulders away from your ears and just start to settle. We're not going to be here for very long, but I want to create this sense of curling in, the sense of self-care, the sense of moving in towards that belly. of restoring and revitalizing that space. Because so often when we get so stressed out, we end up just basically kind of shredding our insides. So here, allow that bolster to press into your belly and for a moment just give a little thanks to the fact that you feel all these feels. Not going to lie, it sucks when you're feeling the feels, but it's pretty nice to be able to feel both the good and the bad. To be able to modulate between the two to feel the difference. If your head is turned one way, make sure that you turn it to the opposite side. And just breathe into the support of that bolster. Breathe into that idea of grounding, of letting that energy pass through, of letting it just move. We'll take a couple more breaths here. And 
And then as you take that second exhale, you can start to just sit yourself up. And if you're like me and you still have that blanket roll at one end, you can keep it there. And we're going to turn so that that blanket roll is actually going to come under our feet. We're going to take the bolster and lie it down on its wide side so that there's about six inches of mat above the end of the bolster. And I'm going to come around to all fours. I'm going to let the tops of my feet basically right at the ankles rest on that blanket roll so that the toes are moving down. And then I'm going to walk my hands forward and let my chest and my chin come to rest on top of that bolster. I'm going to let my chin kind of fall towards my chest. I'm pressing my chin into the end of the bolster. We're going to do a different kind of Shavasana here. So this sense of moving down. If you feel like your head is kind of hanging out here in, in space, you can just get a block and place it underneath your forehead. Give you a little bit of support. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It feels kind of good on my eyebrows on that spot right between the third eye. And then I'm going to take my hands down, kind of tuck my elbows towards my body, palms face down, and drag my hands down close to my shoulders, but not directly in line with my shoulders. It feels a little bit too compressed for you. You can take whatever sort of position you like. If you want, you can place your hands on the block, let your forehead rest on your hands, and you can always make adjustments. So here for our final pose of the night, before we settle in for a nice relaxing evening, perhaps head to bed, I'd like you to just connect with your breath. Notice how when you breathe in, your body rises, and when you breathe out, it softens and falls into the support of the bolster. See if as you breathe, you can breathe into the space in between your shoulder blades. See if you can allow those shoulder blades to wrap around the bolster, curl in, and cradle that front body, cradle that self, that hara, the manipura, the hall of jewels. Notice how your breath is like a massage for your body. How it moves the energy. Imagine it like waves moving in and moving out. Massaging the front body, massaging the organs. And just let any kind of holding that you may be doing in this moment, just let it go. Or at least try to let it go as much as possible. It's always still there. It's always still existent. But perhaps just let it soften a little bit. There's nothing to do with it right now. There's nothing to move with it. Just let it be. For a few moments, just to be with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. I'll take three more breaths here. Just allowing anything that comes in to come in, allowing any noises, any disturbances, just to wash over you. And if you'd like to stay here, you're welcome to. But if you're feeling like you'd like to close out your practice with a little seated meditation, you can go ahead and slowly just lift your forehead up off the block or off your stacked hands. Take your hands back underneath your shoulders, lift your torso off that bolster, and come around to find an easy seat and 
in my case, I'm going to sit on top of my bolster. And if you'd like, you can continue to keep your eyes closed. But once again, find that nice long spine. If you're seated, if you're staying where you are, stay where you are. And just breathe in and breathe out. There's the connection of your legs to the earth. There's the connection of your pelvis to the bolster or pillow that you're sitting on. And then just gently take your hands to heart center. Press your palms against one another. Let your thumbs come to your sternum. And bow your head towards your heart. I really am so grateful to be able to spend even just a little bit of time moving around on the mat. Even on the days when it's not a lot of movement, not a lot of energy. It feels restorative feels comforting to be in community with you. All of the love and light in me bows to and honors all of the love and light in each one of you. Namaste.